Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about all the things that I wished I had known at the start of my NQT year. Just to give you some context, I've just finished my NQT year in England where I was teaching a year 3 class. Without further ado, let's get straight to the video. So the first thing that I wish I knew at the start of my NQT year was to sort out your emails. Now you'll be getting lots and lots of emails from different teachers, from members of staff in school, from admin, and it's really important that you find a way to deal with these emails. Now what I like to do was to create different folders and once I had read the email, I would then move it into the correct folder. So for example, if it was a reminder, so we would get emails about children who couldn't have a school dinner the next week due to various reasons, so I'd move that into my reminders and I would just make a note of that. Once I dealt with it, I'd then move it into the different folders so it's out of my main inbox. Now this, I found, was really useful because it meant that at the end of the day, my inbox was empty and it meant that I knew that everything that other people wanted from me I had done and it had been moved and it had been put out the way but I wouldn't move emails out of my inbox until I had dealt with them. Now my second tip is to be flexible. This is something that will come with time when you're doing your teacher training, at least when I did mine, I felt that everything was structured, everything was very much this happens at this time but then as you become the class teacher you kind of have to have that perspective of okay the children need a little bit more time with writing today so I'm going to move maths to the, this afternoon but just going to spend the whole morning writing. That's something that took me a long time to realise and Process. You have your timetable, yes, which is great, but you have to be a little bit more flexible with that as well. Sometimes, you know, if you want iPads for lessons, they might not be available, so you have to then rejig your timetable for that day to ensure that you can still teach the things that you've planned, but just not in the same order. My third tip is to get a CPD tracker and use it. Now, I will admit I'm still not great at doing this. I will leave a link to the one that I use in the description box below where you can use that to help you fill out all of your CPD that you have been doing this year. And trust me, you're going to do a lot of CPD. Linking to organisations, staying on top of things, I would highly recommend getting something to organise your stationery. Now for me, I bought myself a set of drawers from Screwfix and that has been the best thing I ever bought for my classroom. It has different labels for post-it notes, different boxes for pens. I've just found this extremely useful. My next tip was to be honest, it's quite a surprise to me, but don't expect your weaknesses from your previous placement to be the things that you struggle with in your NQT year. So for me, as I came out of my teacher training, my biggest weakness was my behaviour management. But then when I started my NQT year, I found that my class and the school setting and the school environment was very different to the other school that I was in. So it wasn't behaviour management that was my weakness anymore, it was something else. Just have that in mind that yes, you might be struggling with that particular thing on your training year, but it might not be the same thing as on your NQT year. Next up is to get some mini notebooks that fit inside a folder. This to me has been the most useful thing I've used. I generally have and my purple which is my current planning folder that I use and I take that everywhere with me and at the front of that folder I have a plastic wallet that I got from Wilco that I can open like a poly pocket and then I keep these really thin notebooks inside that I used to write down all my notes from all my CPD sessions or anything that gets said to me about other members and stuff I just jot that down in my notebook and it means I have it all in one place. My next tip is to buy yourself some rubbyality pens. Now, when you're marking the children's books, you're trying to write fast, you're limited with your time, and you will make mistakes. And the last thing you want to do is mess up this children's book. So even if they're more expensive, I would highly recommend buying yourself some pens that rub out, as this will just make you feel so much better knowing that if you do make a mistake, you can just rub it out. And also, with it in the primary school, the kids are always like, wow, that's amazing. How do your pens rub out? And I'm like, they're just magic, they're just magic pens, so it's quite nice having those little touches as well that make the kids smile whenever you use them. My next tip is just a bit of a heads up really that that first term in autumn will be the busiest, the most stressful and the craziest. First of all, you're getting settled into that school, you're getting used to all the policies and the way that the school is structured and the rules and the routines of that school. For me, that was also when the most of my CPD training was in that autumn term. I think a lot of it is to support you as you transition from being a trainee teacher to being a newly qualified teacher and it's just 
a lot of CPD, but it means there's lots and lots and lots of things happening. But it's really important that you are just aware that that first term is the longest as well, but also it's going to be the most stressful and the most chaotic. Another tip is to ensure that you build relationships with all staff members, so not just the people in your class, but also the admin staff and the caretaker. You never know when you're going to have a ceiling that's leaking and you need him or her to come and help you fix it and get along with the admin staff. They're the ones who are going to be giving you out the iPads or they're the ones you're going to be ringing to if a child is ill. So it's really important that you build those sort of relationships to be able to get on and get along with everybody. Another tip is to work on your work-life balance. This was something that I really struggled with, but I tried to find a way to organise it. So for example, I knew that when I left school about half past four, five o'clock, I would come back, have my dinner, have a shower and stuff like that. And then I would start work at about half past six, seven o'clock. I'd work till eight o'clock in the evening. And then I would have an hour where I completely switch off. I'd watch TV, relax, wind down, get ready for bed. I'd go to bed at nine o'clock and then repeat the same thing the next day. And I think what's really important there is to find a way to organise yourself. So whether that's using a Google Calendar like I used on my NQT year, I found that really important where I would schedule each each day and each time block for each activity and I would write my to-do list on my Google Calendar as well or whether you're writing it down and having a handwritten diary or journal that's absolutely fine but you just need to find a way to organise yourself and find whatever works best for you. And my final tip as it is now the start of the summer holidays it's really important that you have a break over the summer holidays please don't spend your whole summer stressing about your nqt year have a break enjoy it because it's the longest summer you're gonna get for a while so please enjoy it enjoy your six weeks off don't spend your holidays cutting out displays and things for september yes you might want to do a little bit i have written a blog post all about how to prepare for your nqt year but please don't stress too much give yourself a break have some time off spend some time with your friends and family because as i said that autumn term is going to be the craziest Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below. Or you can contact me on Instagram. I'm always happy to have a chat about your NQT year. And those links will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.